Kyle Locke. I am MJ Flores. And Kim and Turner Troy. Giving you the latest news updates here and abroad. News with no bias. News with no limits. Upholds the truth. Empowers the people. This is News Flash. Eliminating valor in the midst of a broad. For today's top story. Philippines, India. To buy terrorists and interest matter. The Regretter remains as the Vice President after the reckoning of votes. Mother and children found dead in a 6.3 magnitude earthquake in Mindanao. Duterte awards 1 million pesos to world champions Carlos Zuro and Nesta Pedesha. <laughs> Philippines, India to fight terrorism and transboundary threats. <laughs> Indian President Ramna Coven visits the Philippines to mark the 70th year of Philippine Indians. One of the memorandum of understanding signed by the two presidents was an agreement between the Philippine Coast and the Indian Navy of the Republic of India on sharing of white shipping information. The memorandum targets to intensify maritime security through sharing of information on non-military and non-government shipping vessels between Philippines and India. Meetings they have also agreed upon are maritime security, tourism, science and technology, and economy. Hong Kong protest leader attacked by anonymous thugs. To burst upon the story, here is Rachel Gabriel for the details. Protest leader Jimmy Shum was rushed to the hospital after being attacked by four to five people of clothing hangers in the district of Hong Kong on October 16. According to paramedics, he was sent to Kwanga Hospital after receiving bloody head wounds. The Civil Human Rights Front described the incident as an act of political terror. The protest has been going for days. Pro-democracy lawmakers said that the assault was meant to intimidate protesters and incite violence ahead of Sunday's planned march. This is Rachel Gabriel for News Flash. Your bread remains as vice president after reckoning of votes. To first point the story, here is John DeVita. Vice President Lenny Robredo has maintained and even increased her lead in votes accounts against former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos. Announced by the Presidential Electoral Tribunal on October 18, the lead of the vice president increased from 263,400 and 73 to 278,566. From specifically, where did Senator Bongbo Marcos appeal about his vote comments? Protester Bongbo Marcos chose Camarines Sor Iloilo and Negros Occidental as areas from which he claimed he was cheated the most. In addition, the former senator also claimed to nullify the results from the Naudal Sur Basilan and Maguindanao, as these were married by terrorism and intimidation of voters for free shading ballots from which Representative Mujib Hataman tried fall over his speculations. Thank you, John. We'll be right back after the short break. Snop was real. Your parents, family, and even friends are all gone. You're lost because of your loss. You won't earn money. Join us in my life, your number one insurance company, where you're secured in your loss. Meanwhile, a clip from a social media has become viral as 
the video shows how a church in Davao shook in the middle of the praise. Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Officer Perry Komoro declared that in times when a strong quake happens, people near the coastal areas shall evacuate immediately and be alarmed of possible tsunamis near the vicinity. However, the situation did not happen at its best state. According to him, the evacuation was chaotic as people were in panic to move to higher ground. The territory rewards 1 million pesos to world champions Carlos Yulo and Nessie Petejo. The first pond story, here is Ato Olivia. President Rodrigo Roa III gave a 1 million peso initiative each to gold medals gymnast Carlos Yulo and boxer Nessie Pachenko in Malacanang on Wednesday, October 16. Carlos Yulo was a 4'9 gymnast who bagged the gold medals in World Gymnastics competition. The jersey is over yet for the gold medalist as he still prepares for the coming SEA Games and Olympics as he been qualified advancing to the final round. This is Ato Olivia for News Flash. Thank you, Ato. That is all for today's 6 Minute News. This is MJ Flores and Kevin Kardashian for, for News Flash. Flash. Illuminating valor in the midst of a pro.